One industry that has not been hit hard by the pandemic, auction houses, like Wolgamuth's in southeastern Pennsylvania, profiting from what the pandemic did hit, manufacturing plants, plants that farmers usually rely on for new equipment. With the COVID and everything, they can't get the new stuff. So the good used market has just really gotten really strong. Probably at least 50% on big stuff. A 50% you know, increase? Yeah, 30 to 50% on, on, especially if it's a good quality. 50% on equipment that can already cost tens of thousands of dollars. This is the best place to get anything that you can get. Yeah. I've been coming here 20 years, right? Oh, yeah. From manufacturing backups to delays in shipping, farmers find themselves on endless wait lists. I order a new machine at the dealer, and they told me I have to wait 16 to 20 weeks. And I, I, I can do the job if I, you know, if I have to wait. It's not just issues with new equipment. Across the country, prices for farm machinery parts increased nearly 15 percent in the last year alone. This as fertilizer, seed and grain prices are up too. Parts is a real, real problem now. There's a guy not too long ago here and he bought a corn planter. He goes, I just bought it because I have one just like it. Mine breaks, I'll either use that one or I'll steal the parts off of that one to put on mine. What's it like to be a farmer in this economy? It's tough. It is tough. It's not just local farmers looking to buy these tractors. There's demand from everywhere as they're desperately searching to find the equipment they need. We'll sell today to Mexico. We sell to Canada. They'll be buying today. And then just all across the United States. Some stuff is harder to find in certain areas. The online opens it up. The urgency, because farmers work on a strict timeline. Their crops could be damaged if planted or harvested late. Some stuff is up because of the scarcity. Um, even if there isn't really a scarcity, people, if people think there is a scarcity, that prices are going to go up. Some worry the scarcity will become more common, especially as 10,000 workers at John Deere plants across the Midwest have been on strike for the last two weeks. Deere is the largest agricultural manufacturer in the world. We had the backup before that. Now that could even make it worse. That backup happening now could create a ripple effect. If machines are not maintenance this winter, farmers cannot plant on time for the spring. That then impacts consumers at the supermarket, where prices are already high. But if farmers want to be known for one thing, it's their resilience. We'll survive. We always did. So we'll make it.